Biko nu ohanaize ndi weke ne kwa mwono Biko wanyo wabona ma loya udele Bia kwa biya chie ya wanen Loya udele Si jeme egene kabaru Chie ya sirios wanen Unu nafuku usi ato asiku usi nolo bodo ibo Onye nkana nasi na one represent Ihe wana one represent Nina mwara iba wako wako Usi nolo bodo ibo na ni itisa si isi Ni itiko isi ni isi All in the name of kahawe uwe me egene Kahawe bukwa na hane uwe ni case Mana the report na abia from the magistrate From the magistrate high court zone 6 Na abuja na agwa gana Up to now there are still 6 petitions left untouched yet Isim na etri tishi na mantri cha do six petitions tu pu atende wa maleba na tunyo de la tunyo. So as he stands now, he move go matter to federal high court. This guy don't know bodo ibo na confuse ndo na confuse. Biko, acho mkun nene de first video me pose ya geba abode. Video de person non a court. Buta anye life update onye na court mba de tenu me. After all said and done, una afozia ebe anon paman ka anon wano zen no genom. Nozi ebo ono, obodo ibo ebo ono Wene nyende Golibu followers udele Mwora anasi hageno Sefa yara ono, mwere hene emene So, biko no dodo, di nene cha video kabaru Share live video, because ona nkai ki yana afo Latest updates concerning This issue Na boto no bose, nke tata Na abuja, na nigeria, no wano nimiya Kodo no mbozo, nde bae Ndo mwane genti Ndi wono, tata na eno na Magistrate courts, unu nanya Eba haka abota di ijele, tata Ijele nke u king of the game Ana udele Eba haka ibu tiriye Ande uni na anya Na obyalo, obyalo Kort ta Ono, ono na kort, no na Nde buto ruku Basari ya, kare rakari Petition edire edire kare rakari Almost 5-6 petitions Kano godu, untouched Like this So, abu hoho gani na court? So, magistrate is still pushed here in prison for further reminder, to further notice. And the authorities are then na na ado come show na woka ya puta this month. Mana kai nebe pili, kai na yonde jie, kama na abu aya hapo na udele. Oje we, maka ado come show na ofi remorse. Aka abu go better, aka ni tu ya fa. Ni tu ya fona asen kusu imu rano. Ado kumu sho. Because wa usu imu kwa nono. Usu imu kwa nono. Nya wuhu dene. Nya chikari ya. Because he ni uwe. So. Nya yo. Nde ni ine. Uta ya petitiona. Ima na osha liye puteba. Manabu na oha. Nya ya bae bae. Tata na. Aine uta go update. Life na abuja. Nime court. Aine uta go update. And very soon. Aka ade uta yonu kwa uye si aga. Na kota. Day one, day one. Try to give this update so my voice <clears throat> wouldn't be much. Um, first, um, good afternoon to everyone. As you all may know, today the magistrate court to who says on six has struck out the case against um, Chukuka of Febu popularly known by his social media handle as Ijele Speaks. And the Honorable Magistrate Iyana Emmanuel struck out the case based on lack of jurisdiction. And this is what um, everyone, myself, has been saying that the court lacks the jurisdiction. So first time, um, for those who may not know, let me bring everyone up to speed. He was invited by the Nigerian police, area zone 7, honored an invitation fast forward. They went to secure, you know, they, they, they went to shop a magistrate, got him illegally detained, and remanded him with a false name. So after all back and forth, the magistrate deemed it fit to today strike out that case on lack of merit, sorry, lack of jurisdiction. And um, they, 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 they planned another antics. The same God of Men and his um, IPOB group, they've gone to shop for another magistrate, currently Magistrate Court 11. Now they are trying to get him arrested again, but that's not going to work. You know, because at the end of the day, all we want is get, you know, to get the court proceedings started. Now, on what charges are they bringing? Like I did advise this today. Two police officers went to the prison trying to get him to sign a document, and he refused to sign, and he wouldn't sign. He's not a baby. 
They tried to bully him, intimidate him into signing that document. He refused. Now, this is a case before a court. Today, the court has struck out the charges completely on lack of jurisdiction. Now, I ask a question. I've always asked this question. The first police affidavit, which they swore on oath, that document amounts to perjury. It's nothing but catalog of lies. The jailist legal counsel challenged it, and they swore a counter affidavit, which are nothing but catalog of lies, you know, trying to bring um, a cooked up police report from Anambra State, things that never existed. Now, everyone that is in the know about this issue knows that. The nominal complainant, which is um, Zion Ministry, which is um, Ebukobi, he is alleging cyberbullying, cyber stalking, criminal intimidation, and threat to life. Now I ask this, if these are the allegations, why don't they go to the Federal High Court, which has a jurisdiction over this? Now, all the false allegations they are bringing against him, now people take, make a note of this. The same nominal complainant, your God of man is lying to the police. He and his gang of IPOB, they are, you know, they are conniving, alleging that Ijele is a kidnapper. Ijele is not a kidnapper. The onus is on them to prove it. Now they are lying and alleging that Ijele adopted, you know, adoption. Now the question is this. Where does this issue of kidnapping, adoption, Thai trafficking, sex trafficking, if most of us will remember as far back as 2020, when IPO came up with this same, you know, storyline, publishing his name that is into sex trafficking. This is the same thing they are bringing up in court. You know, these are the same bundle of lies these guys are flying. Now, tomorrow, your God of man will want to pretend he knows nothing about this. Let him know what, at the due time, he will be docked. It's not about running to shop for magistrates. Now, the same magistrate, a magistrate court is a magistrate court. They've gone from magistrate court 2. They've gone to magistrate court 11. Try to get another restraining order. You can't restrain him. You can't remand him in custody. The same magistrate court. Why don't you approach the federal high court? Now, what does the police need a to remand him for? The police have illegally remanded Ijele from the 21st till today that the court struck out that case. The same corrupt police officers are working for your God of man, trying to get him arrested. Then with their forged, with, with their already shot remand order from area court 11, sorry, magistrate court 11, we say to go remand him. It's not going to happen. Enough of this abuse of human rights. Today they've gone to shock a magistrate again from magistrate court, court 11. Holding a fake remand, a remand order. If they think their antics is to lock him up, that is not possible. It might get to the point. We'll make it clear that his life is in danger. Now, for those of you who are members of these churches or this church, can you go and ask your man of God, is this case truly about cyber stalking, cyber bullying, criminal intimidation and threat to life, or is there something to this case? Can you go and ask him, what has kidnapping got to do? Can the police prove it? He is not a kidnapper. Now, they claim on their first affidavit he was apprehended in 2024. Apprehended where? I see, you know, with all due respect, for those of you who continue to see this fraudulent, this fraud as a god of man, you guys need to wake up. They are relying on compromising the institution. I don't want to beg the question if they have the power. Because personally, I, Henry Chimese, I know they don't have any powers. I don't want to swear on this, their God. Because they don't have none. They're empty vessel. You know, now, ask yourself, why are they shopping from one magistrate to the other? The first magistrate, after exhausting everything, has today struck out the case on lack of jurisdiction. What does that mean in law? That the magistrate court lacks the jurisdiction to hear this case. If truly they are interested in prosecuting, why don't they go to the federal high court? Now they've gone to shop another court, magistrate court 11, compromising the court process. Do they think they can get away with everything? The answer is no. And each time they go, they look for an Igbo magistrate that will do their bidding. They should move the case to the federal high court. 
Now, what other allegation? They come a different petition. With petition, you can bring a petition to someone in prison to sign. Take it to his lawyers. Take it to his lawyers. I've always said this. We've always said this from the word go. That the magistrate court lacks the jurisdiction to hear this matter. And today, the honorable magistrate struck out that case based on lack of jurisdiction. The same people have gone to magistrate court 11 who say, Zon says Abuja, to shop for another magistrate to give them a remand order. To remand who? They have gone to shop for a remand order that are trying to remand him to May the 2nd. And this is what they are like. They come on social media. They keep blabbing that they will keep him there. They, they, you can't keep him. That, look, this is a civil case. Can you people believe the amount of armed policemen they brought to the courts? Now you ask yourself, is this case truly about cyberbullying? Is this case truly about criminal intimidation, cyberbullying, cyberstalking, criminal intimidation and threat to life? Look how they are wasting the, the, the state resources. Look how they are building, you know, this trust between the Nigerian police and the populace. Bringing armed policemen to the court is not going to make a difference. You know, this is for you to see your so-called God of man. Tomorrow he wants to claim his oblivion of all this. Personally, we know those behind it. It is him and his IPOB group of company. Let them sue me. Do they think they can bully everybody into silence? The answer is no. The, the magistrate court today, who says the magistrate court too, has struck out that case. What it means, if you have a, if you have a grievance against him, take it to the relevant court authority, the federal high court. They are going to shop for a remand order from court 11 to remand him to May 2nd. Very soon, you people begin to see this, your God of man, that they are nothing but complete fraud. They are just a walking fraud. That is the truth. You can have your sentiment. You can have your biases. You can have your allegiance to them. You can see them as an alpha and omega. I, I see them as a fraud. They lack zero integrity. They have no integrity. They have no ethics. They are even far worse corrupt than the politicians you're seeing. They rely on just one thing. Bribing the system, compromising the system, that is all. That is all they rely on. That is all they rely on. And they think this will continue for how long? They think this is going to continue for eternity? The answer is no, it's not going to continue for eternity. You know, for those of you asking, this is just the update. So let me put that here. You know, they've gone to shop for another magistrate. Currently, this is court 11. Magistrate Court 11 again. They've gone to shop and they feel they've had their remand order. They want to come and arrest him and remand him again. On the first instance, you guys criminally took him to Magistrate Court, remanded him with a false name. The name he was remanded to, with, sorry, to the KFI Correctional Center is not his name. You misled the court. You lied to the Honorable Court. Today, the court has seen the truth in everything and has struck out that case, struck it out completely on lack of jurisdiction. Now they've approached court 11, trying to do their bidding. You know, you guys should wake up. Sorry to say this. All these God of men trained in Nigeria are nothing but fraud. We must fight to build a better society. Nobody can stop us. Whether you like it or not, we are all living on borrowed time. No one is going to stay here forever. But our desire, my desire, is to build a Nigeria that the generation young and the generation unborn will enjoy. Tomorrow they tell you they are, they, they are holy. I have more integrity than 99% of the God of men in Nigeria. Personally, by my ethics and value system, I would not compromise the system. But look at them. Just, name, just begin to look at every God of man. Anyone you see, they begin to run to the police. They begin to run to one court to bribe, to bribe people, to do their bidding. If they feel they have a genuine case, then do not compromise the system. 
sue. You can sue the person. Who, most people that are lawyers, can you guys educate me? How many civil cases have you seen? He generally is not standing a criminal case. He's not standing a case of prison. What he has is a civil case. And they think that the way they can get their justice is to continue to shop for a man order from one magistrate to the other. Have we seen where in a civil case someone is remanded almost a month? Today, the magistrate court two struck out that case. They've rushed to magistrate court 11 to shop for another remand order. Begin to see your God of man for who he is. He's a fraud. He's a complete fraud. He is a complete fraud. All the documents they've submitted to the court so far are nothing but falsification of documents, false information, lies, that they are misleading the police to lie under oath, which is perjury. Thank you, guys. So let me give you this update. And as time progresses, we'll give you the update. Let them know. We know their antics. Let them hate what has come. They should copy this video again and send to DSS the, the way they normally do. The DSS will send it back to us. We are not afraid of speaking the truth. So long as the truth, we have to speak it. Nigeria has to be the country of our dream, where everyone will be equal before the law. They want to make Nigeria a banana republic where they believe their money will work for them. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Thank you, guys. I have to go back to work now. Bye now and see you some other time.